Here we have a St. Louis motor. The electrons leave the battery through a switch into the apparatus, first going through a coil which makes a permanent north magnet because of the left hand rule. The electrons go over the top of this coil that makes this end of the electromagnet a permanently north magnet. The electrons then make their way from the coil up into the top of the apparatus and then down through each of the two brushes. The two brushes are attached to the commutator. The commutator, as you can see, has a split in the top. In this case, the brush is just a solid piece of metal. Sometimes brushes do look more like a scrubbing brush, but they're always made of metal. They attach to the commutator, which you can see has a split. It's very important that we have a split ring commutator for direct current. The current then goes from the brushes to the commutator, from the commutator down into one of these two electromagnets that's free to spin. Because of the split ring, the current through each of these two electromagnets, the green and the orange, changes direction every half turn. At this point in the rotation, the green magnet on the left is always a permanent north at this end, which of course makes it necessary to have the flow of electrons going through this coil, at this point in its rotation, a south. The north attracts the south. Over on this side, a south pole is attracting a north pole at the end of this electromagnet. At this point, we're approaching where the split is going to change the direction. Exactly at this point, there is basically no current flowing through either of these. However, there momentum will carry them to this point where of course now we've gone from the left side of the commutator to the right side and of course the opposite on the back brush and now these have become instead of a north attracting a south here we now have a north repelling a north and of course here we have a south instead of attracting a north at this point it's now repelling a south all right, at this point here, the south is still repelling the south. The north is repelling the north. The north will start attracting the south. And that will happen until we get to this point, reach the split ring, the process is repeated. When the current is turned on, electrons will begin to flow, causing this to be a north. This, at this point, will be a south. This will be a south. This will be a north and therefore the opposite poles here will attract the opposite ends of the circling electromagnet. And the process continues. Here we've essentially doubled the voltage, which keeping the resistance essentially the same should double the current. Doubling the current should increase the strength of the electromagnets in each of the four coils. Increasing the strength of the force of the magnetic field should increase the acceleration of the circular aperture. see a dramatic increase in the velocity.
when we turn the power on, you will often see sparks jumping from the brushes onto the commutator. 